lot of dogs. Sparrow is, what does Gina call her? Not really a German Shepherd. She's, she's kind of a weenie. She's really, and by herself, I mean, she's a love. You know, she, he's just a handful. He really is. And you said you hadn't really been through anything formal with him. He's been with in her. With her, I have. With him, he has not. Okay. He just hasn't been. I mean, he's, I've never really, you know, put the screws to him. Anything. You know, no leash really walking. Basically, oh, let's go for a walk. Yeah. And then for you, you're on the leash, trying to yeah. manage him. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Yeah, I uh, am. Yeah. And as I said, it, it's just really hard with two of them. It is. And, uh, and then on the same thing, when we go on our urban walks instead of hikes, then there are the geese that are going back and forth. And they're trying to pull. As I said, after being almost pulled into the lake twice, I'm like, I can't. <laughs> Somebody had told me, I think it was Desiree, uh, had, the deer. Told, had told me about the... Uh, the lake issue. Oh, the lake and then the deer, they love deer too. Oh, yeah, the but deer. But the deer them. is another thing because usually we're off leash when we see deer, not always, but, and then it's like, goodbye, right when you get a job, you know, and they come, but they're really pretty good. They don't usually stray too far with that. Off leash, they're pretty good. But I only can do it at five in the morning because if they met another dog, I don't know what the heck they do, so I can't take that chance, so. What do you mean by that? You don't know what the heck they would do. So, so they back that up. If they're off the leash and another the leash, dog or comes along, leash, or somebody else is walking with another dog, very off the leash. aggressive. Um, they will bark and growl and not snap, but bark and circle. I would call it very intimidating. To I would both not, of them. Both of them. And both of them together are worse. And you said that she's really pretty good. Does she change when she's with him? Yes. Sort of? She does okay. change. She becomes more so. But even without him, when she sees another dog. Um, if that dog stands up to her, she's fine. And she's like, oh, good, sorry, didn't mean to bug you. If it's submissive, she will not only really attack, but she does the shepherd thing. She grabs mm -hmm. his head, pushes him to the ground. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's just not, not appropriate. Mm -hmm. Plus, the other thing, bicycles. Eat, to, together, they will lunge at bicycles apart. They're fine. Bicycles go by, do, 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 you know, they're just fine. But I, I hike a lot on trails, narrow trails. Mm -hmm. And so when I have both of them, you know, it's hard to yank them both off the trail, have them by their neck. So that is, and, and I've seen him, he doesn't bite at people, but he mouths at people. Mm -hmm. And the mouthing is not acceptable either. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't like mouthing. Mm -hmm. People don't understand that. You know, he's a German Shepherd, he's 90 pounds. I wouldn't want to be mouthed. They either. intimidate a lot of people. The shepherds, I find that uh, it's it's surprising to me actually people yeah. I talk to that are intimidated by Well, them. yeah, and I don't blame them. You know, if I saw those teeth coming at me, I'd be a little bit intimidated mm -hmm. too. Um, as I said, I, I just need a better handle. I can't be out in public with two dogs that are barely, you know, and under my control. Right. Especially in my profession. <laughs> you know? well, I, gonna... I don't want to tell anybody what I am. I'm a veterinarian, you know. Right. Although I have to be honest with you, I have seen many colleagues that have dogs worse than mine, so. <laughs> <laughs>